Thank you for tuning in to your daily operations weather briefing for Tuesday, September 29th. Seeing some partly sunny skies out there this morning. We did see a very mild low for this time of year this morning with the low only getting down to 70 degrees here at Wallops. Due to that southerly flow and increased, increased moisture ahead of uh, our cold front, that's going to be giving us some scattered showers and thunderstorms as we go into the afternoon and into tonight. Take a look at our current surface analysis across the region. We did see uh, one brief little shower that popped up over the uh, Delmarva about an hour or so ago. Didn't bring any rain here at uh, Wallops, but we are going to start to see some more showers pop up as we go closer to lunchtime and into the afternoon, and then starting to see thunderstorm chances ramp up once we get towards the mid to late afternoon period as well. As we continue to see this cold front advancing towards the mid-Atlantic, we'll continue to see that... Uh, Southerly flow bringing in moisture, and uh, as we get some dynamics out ahead of this front, that'll help to give us some uh, showers and storms ahead of it before we see the main uh, bulk of showers and thunderstorms uh, around uh, midnight to uh, 4 a.m. late tonight. Taking a quick look at our satellite across the region, you can see there is some areas of clearing still across the area. Um, Still going to be seeing mostly cloudy skies throughout the day, uh, overcast at times, but still going to be able to see some uh, sunshine as we get uh, just a little bit of clearing here and there as the main line is not uh, is still way back across the Appalachian. So we'll just be seeing some pop-up showers and perhaps an isolated thunderstorm ahead of this uh, as we go throughout the afternoon today. Currently seeing just a few clouds at 1,500 feet, scattered at 4,500, broken at 9,000, broken at 11,000, broken at 20,000, so quite a few cloud layers out there. Winds are from the south around azimuth 190 at 7 knots, temperature of 72 degrees. For today, going to be looking at a high of around 77 degrees early this afternoon. Southerly winds are going to increase late this morning as well at 9 to 14 knots and gusty, then shifting south-southeasterly at 11 to 16 knots and gusty during the early afternoon hours. Southeasterly winds will slowly increase once we get towards the late afternoon, uh, becoming uh, gusty, possibly seeing wind advisory once we get uh, past sunset and into the overnight hours when we start to get some um, higher chances for thunderstorms and heavier rain. Um, our best chance of seeing some heavy rain is going to be between about 10 p.m. to 4 a.m., and that's when the main cold front's going to be starting to pass the area, bringing the best dynamics and moisture so uh, expecting some periods of heavy rain with that as well as well as some isolated embedded thunderstorms especially during midnight to 4 a.m looks like some good instability and dynamics will bring a fairly decent chance of some thunderstorms moving across the region during that period and then once that front passes we'll see those temperatures fall pretty quickly with that low getting down to 60 degrees by mid-morning wednesday and then that rain should be out of here by about 9 or perhaps as late as 10 a.m tomorrow Taking a look at our terminal forecast, going to just pretty much be seeing a similar cloud cover to what we're seeing right now throughout the remainder of the morning. Once we get towards this afternoon, we'll see those clouds become uh, uh, overcast at 10,000 feet at times, broken at 3,000, broken at 6,500, and uh, then possibly seeing another opportunity for some sunshine towards the late afternoon hours around 4 p.m., uh, which is some broken mid-level layers and those broken lower layers near 2,500 and 5,500 feet. Once we get towards uh, 8 p.m., that's when those ceilings are going to really start lowering down as that front approaches the region. We start to get some enhanced shower and uh, thunderstorm activity. Ceilings dropping down to 1,000 feet around 8 p.m. and then as low as 500 feet in any showers or thunderstorms. That will continue as we go throughout the overnight hours with... Uh, Ceilings lowering below 500 feet at times during that heavy rain once we get to between midnight and 4 a.m. And continuing through about 6 a.m. before we start to see those ceilings uh, lift a little bit and starting to see those clouds dissipate just a little bit, becoming broken at 1,000, broken at 2,500, overcast at 7,000 at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. We are seeing tides normal along the Delmarva Atlantic coast. Uh, so we are going to be seeing those heavy rain tonight, possibly seeing around uh, two inches of rain, give or take, as we see those um, heavy rain bands moving in overnight. For tomorrow, though, going to be looking at mostly cloudy skies early, just a chance of a lingering shower before uh, 9 a.m., then seeing partly cloudy to perhaps mostly sunny skies by the afternoon hours with a high of 72. 
Wednesday night's going to be mostly clear and seasonable with a low of 58. And then Thursday, seeing mostly sunny skies early. Clouds will be increasing late as we have a little bit of upper level energy approaching the area uh, with a high of 75 degrees expected for Thursday. That will do it for your daily operations weather briefing. Have a great day.